Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. Hope you're doing very, very well. I had a rather interesting day today. I attended a sort of walk, a tour of Sheffield City Centre, which of course is the home of football. And it was um, hosted by a charity, which do a lot of things for the, the city. Uh, when it comes to football, they try and put plaques up, they try and preserve history, they find about all the history of the uh, of the trophies, the people who founded it. It was a great, great thing. It was like six pounds to do it. It's two hours, small group of people, but it was really, really interesting. And to be honest, I don't know too much about Sheffield as well, so it was great just to pick that up. I picked up a book. It says a children's history, but to be honest, it's just got all the information in there. You even got these, which are the oldest trophies in football, period. And they have them in the town hall in Sheffield. So if you're, you are local-ish, they've got an exhibit on right now. And once that's over, you won't see them again for a long time because they have to put them back in storage and be usually at like nitrogen because otherwise they all get damaged. So it was just really, really exciting. And it was all charitable. So the book, all the money goes towards uh, sort of the foundation, I guess. Uh, yeah, so very, very, Interesting. So talking about interesting and history, I'll try and do my best to explain to you about the club that I'm going to show you that I've added to my collection. However, it's going to be quite difficult. So you'll see once I get it open, it's in here. I've had this one for a wee bit. I don't have many more to open. I have to start buying some, but uh, I do have a few en route. So let's see what it is I've got. Okay, then that Struggle. It is sick. It's classic football shirts. What a surprise. Do we have a trading card? We do. It is Ian Wright. I think I've got Ian Wright. I must have had Ian Wright by now. But the most important thing is the shirts. Don't think there's anything else. Very well done to anybody who gets this one because, um, yeah, it's an interesting one. So there we go. Doesn't really give much away. Now, if I do bring around the front, you do get to see what the club is, but I don't think many people are going to pick that up. If you have done, um, well done. Let's get it open and see what it's like. It comes in a little Ziploc bag. Not bad. And then here we go. It's the shirt. So there it is, the rear of the shirt. And it's, well, it's white, isn't it? It's white. You have on the back of the neck, you have a little bit of a black detailing. And on the sleeve, you've got something going on there. I don't know, like a black spot. Same on that one. Okay, then let's get bring around to the front and see if it changes. There we go. So you've got quite a lot of sponsors, it seems, on the front. Many, many sponsors. You've got a little bit of detailing at the bottom, which is a little bit more subtle. You can see it there when you pick it up. But it is this stuff here. It looks like a cow. It looks like a cow. And that's the reason why I bought it, to be honest. Simply that, it looks like a cow. So there's a cow's hide. Very, very cool. Now, do you recognize the club? Does it even tell you it? It does tell you it, yeah. Everything here is screen printed in, but it's actually quite a decent material. It's a new manufacturer to my um, to my personal collection. That, that looks like Hummel a bit, doesn't it? Hmm? I'm getting Hummel vibes. It's not Hummel. There we go. So let's, let, let's, let's dress the mannequin, and I'll hit you up with some information about this club. It's interesting. Right here then. So there is the shirt. When it comes to the sizing, it is it is a medium that I did buy. I did say the medium in the back, but I'm suspecting if you are maybe a slightly larger medium or like to have a little bit of give in the material, probably go for a large. That's what I would probably advise. But firstly, you want to know who the club is, I would suspect, before you make the purchase. And it is Pesebi Boyu Lali. Probably not pronouncing that as closely as I should do, but that's the best you can get from me. And it's their away shirt from 2023-2024. Or at least that's what classic football shirts are saying. However, having done my own research, because that's what I do around here, it seems to me that it's actually the away shirt from 2022. If you look at the actual club, uh, club sort of page on Instagram, it's clearly saying that it's from 2022. So I'm more inclined to believe that's when it's from. And when I explain to you a little bit more in a minute, it, you'll understand why I'm landing on that one. So when it comes to the purchase, of course, it was classic football shirts. It cost me £22.49 with a little bit of 10% off. You could buy it at full price of £24.99. At the time of recording, 
they still have all of the sizes available. And they also even have a home shirt, which is not quite as fun, I don't think. It doesn't have the, the cow print on the front there. The, the club uh, sort of nickname is like the Bulls or something. Uh, the Java Bulls. Uh, the, the, the animal doesn't have that pattern for a skin, so I'm not entirely 100% sure why it looks like that, but it, it does. And I think on previous versions of shirts, it's also similar. So, but you know what? It's cool. It's interesting. That's why I've gone to make the purchase. Club was founded in 1975, so 50 years or so, and they come from the region of Boyolali, no surprise there, which is in Java, which is Indonesia. Yes, it's an Indonesian club. It's been a while since I added a shirt from Indonesia. I've got maybe about seven, six or seven, something around about that time, I'd say. And I was doing a little bit of research on the area of Boyolali, looked at their Wikipedia page, and I noticed the climate. I noticed this. Someone who lives in the UK, you, you kind of look at other people's climates. You'll notice that it doesn't drop at all through the entire year below 20 degrees C. January, April, September, December makes a difference. It's 20 degrees. To put that into contrast to where I am right now in the UK, not once on average does it go above 20 degrees. Now, there are some days like today. It's been a beautiful day. It might have been 24 degrees. It's been lovely. But imagine having that in December. Oh, the mind boggles. But of course, I know that this, this is possibly an international audience. So maybe tell me, is it warmer or colder where you are? Can't be that much colder than the UK, but it's just it's just crazy how the world is. Anyway, when it comes to the uh, league that they play in, I don't know actually. I don't think they do. I don't think they actually play football anymore. They withdrew from the 2022 season, and the last time they posted anything on social media was early 2023, which makes me really question the fact that it would be for the 23-24 season considering there's no suggestion that they play football since around about 2022. Even, even, even if you go on um, like these random websites which tell you fixtures, there's nothing on there whatsoever. The last time they played a kick football was in 2022. And they used to play in the Indonesian third tier. So you're getting quite down there. So who knows what's going to happen in the future? We'll only know once they start posting on, on, on social media again. So this could be the final season shirt. Is, I couldn't find an explanation, certainly on a sort of English-speaking uh, Google as to why they did that, but th there must be some reason for it. When it comes to the manufacturer, it's a company called Total Sportswear. I was trying to think off the top of my head, do I have any from this one? I don't think so. I'm pretty certain I don't. So it's a new manufacturer to me. Um, I've got to be close to 100 now. The shirt's all right. It's quite a decent... Um, quality material. It's not like a super cheap one. They've got a little bit of detailing the stitching and got a nice little collar going on there. Everything's screen printed, but you know, that's pretty standard for this part of the world. Of course, you've got this great graphic on the front there. That could have been something so simple. They've even got sort of a, a more subtle one there, which they could have just totally avoided and just had the, the main sort of black spots. So, you know, fair play. A lot of these places, um, sort of like this part of the world, they put a hell of a lot of information uh, and, 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 and effort into the designing of the football shirts, and that's great. Uh, the actual manufacturer is still going strong. They, they seem to do a lot of teams in Indonesia. Indonesia is a big place, and there's a lot of football playing on, so there's certainly enough uh, work to go around there. Uh, but that's really all else I can say, to be honest. I think I figured out it was from the 2022 season, so classic football shirts, either they've been told by the um, manufacturer that's what season it's from, or they've just been a bit slack with their research. You tell me. But there we go. That's it, really. When it comes to Friday's video, uh, you might want to stock up on some treats, popcorn, drinks, whatever it may be, because it's going to be a long one. If everything goes to plan, then it should go to plan. It's going to be a long one. And it's been long overdue since I did it. I think you have an idea what's coming, but um, yeah. Keep your eyes peeled. Anyway, I hope you have a great week ahead. I would love the weather to stay like this, but I think it's going to turn again in a few days. But, you know, for now, we will take advantage of the sun whilst it exists. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the end of this video. Thank you, as always, for watching. I really genuinely do appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. We are almost at 3,000. Not bad that, eh? I'll see you on Friday. Goodbye.